Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, man. Shout out to my guy, Philly Philly Talk Podcast. If y'all haven't subbed him up, make sure y'all do, man. Y'all see it. Y'all see it, man. Stay Philly, stay fresh, man. With my two with my two youngest, you know what I mean? Um, Shirts coming soon, man. Seriously, uh, just been grinding and grinding and grinding. I'm trying to get y'all something. But if you want something without my ugly face on it, I also just got this. It's coming soon, man. Um... It's not really the finished product yet, you know what I mean. I gotta, I gotta make some more, um, some more, some, you know. I gotta do some adjustments. But once again, shout out to Joe Castro, also Brandon, man, um, Philly Philly Podcast, man. Yo, that. G A G L E S. Say fly eagles fly. Fly eagles fly. Fly eagles fly. <laughs> you're, you're, yo, that man, you know who it is, you know what it is, your boy Philly Fresh, aka the general, also a fourth. Yes, a fourth for the Better Bird Podcast. If you have not done it, I don't know where you've been, what you've been doing, but make sure, please make sure you hit that sub button right down there and also smash the like. Comment below. Let me know how you feel. Sharing this Karen, man. Listen, I'm going to keep y'all updated on what's, what's going on with me before I get into the video, before I let y'all know what's going on and how I feel. Um, I will be doing a live with uh, Murph DeKenzo, probably on his page. If you haven't subbed up to Murph DeKenzo 420, make sure you do that. Uh, he doesn't really do the Eagles. He, he talks real life and also, if you smoke weed, that's what he get into. You know what I mean? Shout out to my guy. But he want to interview me about my real life. You know what I mean? And all the trials and tribulations I've been through. And it's going to be a movie, man. It's going to be a sight to see. It's, it, it, it's somewhere I can, you know what You know what I mean? I could, I, could, I could just let my hair down. You know what I mean? Even though I'm bald. I'm bald. But just let my hair down and just, and you know, just be me for a while. Ain't, ain't really about the Eagles. Ain't about none of that. So shout out to him for that, man. Uh, can't wait to do that. Um, yo, that shirts is is coming. Give me about two weeks. Um, I'm 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 in I'm in the lab now, talking to a couple people, and we're gonna see how we're gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna do some yo that shirts. Uh, stay Philly, stay fresh shirts. Um, if y'all got any other ideas, which y'all which y'all would wanna see. You know what I mean? Um, I got a couple slogans, whatever the case may be. I already know how I get down. Uh, slick talker. But uh, just let me know, man. If y'all got if a comment below, let me know if y'all got any uh, opinions on, you know, what kind of shirts y'all want, man. Shirts, hoodies, they coming soon, man. Uh, long overdue. And um, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing probably daily live soon in the next couple weeks. It's gonna be it's gonna be called the, uh, the spinning block episodes. You know what I mean? I'm be spinning the block on people, uh, pulling up on people. You know what I mean? Bringing them in the lives, guys like Joey Shakes, uh, long overdue uh, uh, live. You know what I mean? I'm be pulling up on on, on, on just people and kinds of creators. You know what I mean? I might have some special guests in there, stuff like that, man. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. I got a lot that I'm about to do for this channel, man. But enough of that. Let's get into the video. Listen, Najee Harris, yes, Najee Harris is the guy for me in the end or the beginning of the second round. I'm taking my second round pick and moving up to try to get him in a, he probably go bottom first, 25th, 26th around there. If I see things starting to get a little shaky and he's still there, I definitely got to move up to get him. We talked about putting, well, not us, Jeffrey Lurie, he talked about putting young talent. He talked about putting young talent or just talent, period, building around your quarterback. This is how you do it. With the number six pick, you get Kyler Pitts or you get Jamar Chase. Then you go out there and you get you a running back. It's nothing to do with Miles Sanders. But my, it's some things Miles Sanders cannot do. Miles Sanders is not a, a, a cook. He's not even a Christian McCaffrey who people didn't think that can run in between the tackles as hard as he does. But you need a guy. You got Najee Harris, man. 6'2", 230. You hear me? 
230, man. When you look at when you look at his his evolution in um at Alabama, man, you want to talk about what 2000 2018, the dude the dude only had I mean the, the dude only had what 783 yards. I'm saying only, but uh, you know, 783 yards. He only had seven yards receiving in 2019. The dude had um, 209 touches, 1,224 yards, 13 touchdowns, and also 304 receiving yards. So you've seen an upgrade there. But no, it gets better. Just last year, he had 1,400 yards, 26 touchdowns, and 425 receiving. Sounds good to me. You've seen the... the, you've seen the this guy evolved. You've seen the evolution of this guy, man. And I think that he would compliment, yes, compliment Miles Sanders perfectly. Miles Sanders can do, Miles Sanders can do a lot of your, a, a, a lot of your dirty, I mean, not your dirty work, because Najee Harris is going to be there for that. But now, uh, um, Miles Sanders can be your, 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 uh, your first, second round, uh, second back, um, second down back. And then if you got to, you you bring Najee in. Najee can close games for you. The way that he's built and the power that he has. You know what I mean? And you can surprise him with some screens from him. You can switch it up. Because to me, to me, to protect Jalen Hurts, you got to run the football more. You got to run the football more. And Miles Sanders does have... I'm not going to say an injury problem, but he does get injured. He misses a couple games every year. It's only been two, but two's good enough to me. Boss of Scott Love, Boss of Scott Love, with everything they bring to the table, especially when he plays against the Giants. Little big dog, another little big dog. But he's not enough. When Miles Sanders go down and Boss of Scott is our starting uh, uh, um, uh, running back, that is not enough. It's obviously that they didn't want to use Holyfield, right? It's obviously that they didn't want to use um, a Warren. So how about you go draft the guy? That way, since you drafted him, you're going to use him. Just because you didn't draft these guys, it feel like you don't want to use them because you ain't drafted them. Well, you draft uh, Najee Harris and you use him. And another thing, man, real fast, because... Another reconstruction happened. Another reconstruction happened with um with Bear uh, Bear Brooks with um with, with Brooks man with Brandon Brooks. So that's more money pushed down to the line, and it's crazy because remember yesterday I was talking about I was talking about um the reconstructuring and how it's going to come and bite us in the butt, especially when it's time for Jalen Hurts to get paid. But you know, also know who's going to have to get paid around that time? Miles Sanders. So your star running back and your starting uh, um, uh, quarterback are getting paid in the same year, the same year that everything is pushed back on. Ah, oh, man, this is, I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. In two years, in two years, if we don't have just all draft picks playing for us, we're going to be in trouble. We're going to be in the same predicament that we're in now, $55 million behind the cat. I mean, we ain't there now. I'm talking about when the season starts, when the, when, when, when the, uh, when the 2022 season is over. We're going to be back in cap hell. Derek Barnett. Derek Barnett. Um... I would sign Derek Barnett instead instead of instead of getting get, uh instead of trading him or trying to get something from him. Do y'all understand that when we when we drafted the guy, the guy was only 19, going on 20? Like that's that's very, very hard to believe. He was only 19 going on 20. The dude is 23 right now. That's the only reason I'm not giving up on him. And I understand the numbers is not there. But the numbers wasn't there for Brandon Graham. Everybody wanted him out of here. Once again, what I said yesterday, everybody wanted Brandon Graham out of here. I'm never going to forget that. About five, six years ago, when they had him playing freaking linebacker. But now all of a sudden, everybody wants him to stay. And I ain't got no problem with that. But I had that same energy. 
because you got a guy, yes, he's a number one pick. He has not, the numbers don't have him performing like a number one pick, but he does, he is up there. And I'm not exactly sure, and I don't want y'all to quote me, so I'm not just gonna throw a number out there. Y'all know how I get down. If, if I feel as though I ain't right, I ain't saying nothing. Um, But he is up there when it comes to pressures. Now, you say, but fresh, them pressures don't mean nothing. Yada, 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 you don't know what a pressure could do. You don't know what a pressure in a in guy's face can make him do. Can make him get scared from the football, throw an interception. You don't know. Like, you got to really dive in and go to uh, um, uh, pro football focus. They they got all them, they got all, 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 all them analytics and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? I ain't really a numbers guy, but I do see what I see. And I do see the guy getting pressure. I do see the guy getting better. I do see him performing spin moves now. Instead of just trying to go around and ball rush and stuff like that. I see him adding things to his game. And I think if we if we trade the guy, I think he's gonna flourish somewhere, man. I think he's gonna flourish somewhere. So I would I, I definitely would. If, even if you wanna just give him a two year deal, I'm cool with that. But I, I and and then I don't think you gotta pay him that much. I understand he was a first round draft pick, but we all know he ain't performed like that. You know what I mean? So, to me, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I, I, I definitely would sign Derek Barnett. You know what I mean? A two-year deal. Nothing small. I mean, nothing nothing big. We ain't got the money any damn way. So, that's so that's something you can tell him. Listen, man, we ain't got that much chicken for you. But we can sign you. Let me know what y'all think, man. A lot of, I know a lot of people ain't, ain't, ain't really feeling Barnett. Pause. I do know a lot of people really not, but at the same time, man, we do got to understand that age, age means a whole lot. Be only being 23 and be going into your fifth year. Wow. One, two, three, four. Yeah, going into your, no, going into your fourth year. So yeah, your fifth year. He going into his fifth year at 23. Think about it, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Y'all already know, man. Stay Philly, stay fresh. Yo, that.